Well, when all of this is happening, while it's happening, local leaders are talking about ending assistance efforts for asylum seekers. 13 News reporter Bud Foster is at the county complex, and Bud, this decision comes as quite a surprise. Well, yeah, it certainly does, Brooke. Pima County has now let it be known it wants to get out of the asylum business and is beginning to move in that direction. Pima County says it no longer wants to be the fiscal agent, that is, handling the tens of millions of dollars that come from the federal government. It just doesn't want to do that anymore. And what that could lead to for the first time ever here are street releases. Having 1,100 people dropped off in the middle of downtown Tucson becomes a city of Tucson problem and becomes a Pima County problem. 1,100 a day is an average day of asylum seekers being released by Border Patrol here, which are now being fed, housed, and transported to keep them off the streets. But when the county's federal funding runs out, the program ends and it becomes a free-for-all. I think if you have 1,100 people a day dropped at the Greyhound bus station, you have a potential issue not only to the Greyhound bus station, to other individuals, and, uh, and to uh, potentially the area uh, adjacent. Pima County has prevented that by being the fiscal agent passing through 100 million federal dollars to groups and organizations which take care of them and moving nearly a half a million asylum seekers through Tucson. But that's on the verge of ending. And I know that this is a huge drain of resources to our staff, so I understand the desire to transition. What they'd like to transition to is for the state of Arizona to become the money handler, supplying for the grants and distributing the money where it's needed. The state has agreed to do that for Maricopa and Yuma counties, but not for Pima County, leaving it with nowhere else to go. But who is, who is the person that's going to take over the responsibility? It has been ours. I understand the desire of the administration and staff respectfully to sort of transition to somebody else. But at this moment, I don't see anybody else stepping up. Which is why the county voted to apply for more money to continue with services, but with no guarantees it will get it. Competition will be fierce. But the county says by applying at least, it will protect the taxpayers. I know your recommendation is not to do this, but I think we shouldn't leave any dollars on the table for the because we could be in a situation where we're still stuck doing it and then we didn't get any additional money to do it and then that's coming out of the general fund potentially. In this memo released to the board last night, county administration recommended the board not apply for more funding and smoothly transition out of its role, a recommendation ignored by the majority, but not all. It just seems to me if we're trying to get out of the business of sheltering asylum seekers, wonder where that came from, um, that why are we prolonging the inevitable? And that is probably a very good point. It is inevitable that Pima County will get out of its prominent role sometime in the future, but it wants to do that as smoothly as possible without hurting people and without leaving the outside agencies in a lurch. Downtown at the Pima County Complex, I'm Bud Foster, 13 News.